Today, we're not gonna let the rain dampen our mood here in Seoul. I'm going to show you the best places to eat and drink if you're visiting the famous palaces and the Buchong Hanok village right here in Seoul. Let's do it. This is the place we're looking for. You can see it already with the red sign in front of us. Good to get out of the rain. The restaurant is tiny, look at this. How cool is this? Love little restaurants like this. Now it's empty because it's super early. I've basically come here at breakfast time. They are open, but uh, you can see already in the back of the, out the back in the kitchen, you can hear them getting things going. No English here, which is not a problem. I'm not complaining, perfectly used to that. Can I get the um, jajangmyeon? You uh, need jajang. Yeah, please. Perfect, just one, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's arrived, guys. Look at the color of that jet black. The beautifully yellow, golden noodles and an egg. I didn't expect the egg to come. Did you have a few condiments on the side? You have this vibrant red chili powder. Looks amazing. Just look at the color of it. She's also given me this dipping paste. Jet black, almost looks like charcoal, but it's probably that black bean paste or something charred maybe, maybe charred onions or charred leeks, along with some raw onion, hopefully those sweet ones like we've had in the others. And I initially, when I looked at this, I thought that it was going to be yellow beetroot, but actually I think it's probably pickled daikon or radish. How beautiful does that look? Freshly cooked egg noodles, and then this dark, dark sauce to go with it. And in there, I can see an absolute ton of onions, along with some minced meat. I'm guessing pork, it smells like pork, and the color comes from the black fermented bean paste. But there's only one thing to do, guys, that's to let the sauce meet the noodles. To be honest, I don't know a better way to do it. I could spoon it on, but actually I want all of it on there, so I'm just going to pour it on top. Look at that. Cannot wait to get stuck into this. 10,001 for a bowl of this. Pretty good portion. It's meant to be a breakfast snack and look at the size of it. <laughs> Let's try it and see what it needs. Mm. Wow, depth of flavor right up there. It's salty, it's sweet, it's savory, very intense. I love the crunch of those onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar just to cut through that sweetness. It doesn't need any soy sauce because it's salty enough, but what I am going to add is some of this bright red chili powder. That could be a mistake. And because that sauce is thick, it just coats those noodles. Look at that ribbon. Look at the length of them. Oh, that is ridiculous. It's like nearly as tall as me. Anyway. Wow. It's so rich, it's so meaty. Like I said, there's a sweetness that comes through. But it's almost like a caramelized bitterness. And I think it is probably from that bean paste. It's really nice because of that balance, because of the sweetness, because of the salty, because of the bitterness, because of the caramelized flavor. It looks super simple. It's just noodles with black sauce, right? But there's so much going on there, complementing each other and working well in balance. Let's try it with a little bit of these condiments on the side. So I'm gonna take one of those slices of white onion, dip it in this mystery paste, this charcoal mystery paste. Here you go. Oh man, that paste, wow, this, this is killer. This is the black bean paste, the fermented black bean paste. There's so much flavor in there. You can see why now the color of these noodles is what it is, why it is so dark. There's something about, for me, egg noodles. I love rice noodles. Don't get me wrong, absolutely love rice noodles. But when you get good, well-made, well-cooked egg noodles, that hits a different place for me and I absolutely love it. So, so good. You guys have to come and eat in this restaurant. And the lady, I think the owner is so friendly, so nice. Doesn't speak English, but really trying to make sure that I'm, you know, enjoying my food. Love it. All right, definitely think I need that. After charcoal black sauce. How am I doing? Looking good? I'm walking to a tea house. This area has a lot of tea houses. Seems to be a popular thing. So we're gonna pick one. We're gonna go and try one out. I'm not drinking caffeine, so it's going to have to be non-caffeinated tea, but I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. It's actually 
just across the road from that art centre. And you can, well, you can tell there's probably more than one tea house around here because you have all of the menus. But this is the one we're looking for, Shin Old Tea House. Let's go find it. Down this little alley, more street art. Yeah, there's definitely a few tea houses here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful wooden frames. Big wooden doors. That's a restaurant. It smells good. Ah, here it is. Shin Old Tea House. Ah, oh, look at it. How beautiful is this place? I've got my seat just here. Beautiful wooden style tea house. What do we reckon? Gorgeous, and you can sit on the floor as well in traditional style. I'm not going to do that because I'll never get up again. That will be the problem. But uh, as I said, I've got my little seat in the little corner. So let's check the menu out and see what we're going to have. Oh, well, first things first, let's get this off. It's not warm, but it's not too cold. My body actually, thankfully, adapts pretty quickly. So it's definitely colder today than it normally is, but it's good to get the coat off. Let's check the menu out and see what we're going to order. So it is all like herbal tea and fruit teas, which is good for me, of course. I'm not drinking caffeine, as I said, but oh, they all look amazing. All about 7,001. But what I like about it is they all have a medicinal um, description as well. So for instance, quince tea, sweet flavor, very fragrant, effective in treating colds, bronchitis and digestion. I've ordered the tea, which is good for physical and mental fatigue, which, as I've said in a couple of videos recently, I have been a bit burnt out. And although I am feeling much better now, let's go with that tea because it will probably help out. And I ordered a sweet called Hangwa. I could pretend that I know all about this tea and I can give you all the information, but I don't. So I've Googled it and I'm going to read it out to you. It's called Sangwa tea and it's a very medicinal tea. And there's a, this is probably the tamer version. There's an even stronger version called Sangwa Tang, which is more like a hardcore medicine. Sangwa means combining the yin and the yang energy into one. So that's why it's good for your physical and mental energy, I presume. It's made with a blend of white peony, foxglove, pretty sure that's poisonous, angelica, cindium, I've not heard of that one, cinnamon and licorice. They look amazing. Not exactly how I expected, but these like puffed, rice sweets looks pretty cool but this tea looks absolutely gorgeous i mean you can see all of the things that it's made of in there look at that absolutely full of it you just know this is going to do some good to you i know we've just eaten but i'm going to try one of these sweets first because they look interesting the consistency isn't actually what i expected it's super light it feels like it's a puff or a puffed up and on the outside you have this well i don't know sweet something, but I'm not entirely sure what it is, but let's try it and see what it is. Mmm, look at the consistency on the inside. Super light, super fluffy, and that is like, that just melts in your mouth, actually. That is just like puffed rice, amazing. But the outside, whatever this is on the outside, is more sticky. So you get that soft melting in the middle and then this like sticky chew on the outside, which is sweet super delicious what about this tea though and there's nothing better than a hot drink on a cold day but i'm slightly wary of this tea because medicinal tea i mean well when things are labeled medicinal i don't normally come with a good flavor right it's more like you drink it because it's good for you not you drink it because you enjoy it so i'm a little cautious of it wow you can smell the cinnamon in there mm. oh wow Oh, it's delicious. It's fruity with the fruit. You can taste the fruit in there straight away. You get the warmth of the cinnamon and the comfort of the cinnamon. I think cinnamon is very comforting spice. And then there's a slight bitterness at the end. It's very, very delicious. Actually, the flavor of this reminds me very much of the Christmas spices. It feels very Christmassy. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's not Christmas. I mean, the weather feels like it is, of course. I could get used to that. Oh, the more you drink it, or the further down you get, you do get the bitterness. So there is a definite bitterness in there. And that's something you need to get used to. But yeah, it gets the thumbs up from me. Right, tea and snacks finished. Very delicious, enjoyed that a lot. I can feel my physical and mental energy rising after that cup of tea. But yeah, recommend this place, right in the heart of Incidong, on the way to the palaces. 
definitely check it out. I think I'm ready for some more food. Let's go eat. But first, let me show you a little bit of footage that I took yesterday when it was just cloudy and not raining of the Bukchon Hanok village. Enjoy, guys. Okay, so the Bukchon Hanok village is a traditional little area in Seoul which is full of well-preserved Hanok or traditional wooden houses. It is in between the palaces, so most people do combine it whilst visiting those. So many people rent out the hanbok, the traditional dress of South Korea, and walk around the hilly, narrow streets, taking their photos, of course. I just love seeing this little slice of heritage in Seoul. But one thing to say is do not miss it when you're in Seoul. Anyway, let's go eat. Okay, out the rain, I have come to a little restaurant called Chonda, and I came here, it was going to be in my original video of the palaces because it's right next to two of the most famous ones and on the way up to the Bukchon Hanok village. It's a great little place for lunch, although as I've got here, which is good for me, good for filming, it's emptied out, but it was busy when I got here. It's a very, very pretty little restaurant. You have a choice of two places to eat, well, three places to eat, let's say. You can eat at the tables, or you can eat at the bar, which would be quite nice, but I've chosen to eat in the traditional style where you sit on the floor. I thought I'd mix it up and try it out. Love the decoration here, the wallpaper. Look at that, it's got Korean writing all over it. I have no idea what it says. So, good menu. I was quite tempted to have the braised spicy pork ribs or the galbi jim, but actually my idea for the other video was to show you that this is a good place to stop for lunch because they have a lunchtime special only on weekdays, as you can see, but for 10,000 won, you get a daily lunch box. And I say daily because it changes. Uh, today menu is pork with soy sauce. Pork with soy sauce. Yeah. Okay, and that sounds good. Soup. Oh, and tofu soup. Yeah. I'll order the, the lunch box special, please. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Well, sometimes you need to accept defeat. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this sitting on the floor. <laughs> it's too much for me. My legs are already numb. I've been here, what, a minute? That's probably my limit. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy the food as much when I'm sitting on the floor. I might move to the bar seat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here it is. Oh, the tofu soup. It's amazing. A bit of kimchi. And the lunchbox. It really is a lunchbox. Look at that. Thank you so much. Thank you. How cool is this? We've got the tofu soup, absolutely packed with vegetables. So you've got courgette in there, onions, some, maybe some radish, and then that tofu looks spicy. There's chili. You can just see the color of that broth. Look at that bright red. You can see the chili oil on top, nearly as red as this kimchi. Look at that. I haven't seen it so vibrant. And then this is what I'm excited for, the lunch box. Should we see what's inside? Well, we know it's pork. Wow, look at that. Pork braised in soy sauce. Your pickled vegetables, you got, well, I'm not even entirely sure what that is. We've got the greens. We've got more pickled vegetables and tofu here. And then you have rice with a fried egg on top. How good does that look? What a feast for 10,001. Right, let's get stuck in. First of all, I want to try, just straight away, try some of that pork thinly thinly sliced pork with onions is definitely in there. It looks like ginger and garlic as well. And then obviously in that soy sauce braise. Mm. Oh wow, lots of ginger, lots of garlic. There's sweetness in there as well. There must be some sugar in there too. And then, yeah, the saltiness from that soy sauce. Absolutely divine, it's fatty. Very fatty actually, which I absolutely love. You can just see the fat on there. And actually this reminds me, I used to cook a dish at home of pork belly with ginger, soy sauce, a little bit of chili, a lot of garlic and ginger. I think I said ginger already, I'm going mad. And just let that cook out and cook out. The flavor profile is exactly the same as that. And that was a Korean recipe, so maybe this is a very similar one. Absolutely delicious. But I know it's gonna go so well with that white rice, because that white rice is going to be plain and just balance out that sweetness and that saltiness. Mm -hmm. And then with some of that pickle, that pickle just cuts straight through it. Mm. 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 Let's try these little thinly, thinly cut slices of tofu and 
carrot. Mmm. Very tasty. And I love this idea of it being in a little lunch box. It reminds me of being in this part of the world, maybe more so in Japan, like a little bento box, but each compartment has its own little different piece of food in, but together, well, individually they're very good, but together it all works so nicely. So, so good. Can't believe it. Right, let's try this soup. Ooh. The flavor, I mean, it's a vegetable soup, so it's very vegetable based. You get the courgette coming straight through in terms of the flavor. The chili does add that, like, the chili flavor to it. It's not spicy, I would say, but there's a nice chili flavor to it. But the tofu, the tofu is soft, it's creamy, it melts in your mouth. Silky, silky smooth tofu, to be honest. Absolutely perfect in broths like this. But the flavor coming from the vegetables, you can feel that this one, like the tea, you can feel that this one is doing some good for you. And this is part of the set. It comes as part of the 10,000 package. It doesn't just include the lunchbox itself and the kimchi. It actually comes with the, with the broth as well. And as I say, it changes. You may not get this one, but you'll get something very similar to this, a broth or a soup and the lunchbox. It just shows you, right, even on a rainy, rainy day like today, it doesn't have to ruin your day. You can change your plans up, change your perspectives up and come out and have some really good food and at the end of the day, a really nice time and not let the rain ruin it. Thank you.